Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com and my tutorial for you today uses the other half of the sheets of the hand stamped DSP that we made back at the end of November, which was the 22nd of November. We hand stamped our own DSP using the beautiful Blooms and Wishes stamp set which is here. I absolutely adore this set. I cannot stop using it. It is photopolymer. You don't need to worry about the staining. That doesn't affect the quality of the stamping. That's perfectly normal with the red coloured inks. And I just adore this and I just can't stop using it. I have to, to sort of force myself to use something else. But you get 14 stamps in here and it's just so beautiful. So we hand stamped our own designer paper and today I'm showing you what I have made with the other half which is my beautiful box with my vellum, not vellum, acetate lid, nice and see-through and these are my gift tags which I am extremely proud of. I think they are absolutely beautiful. Um, inside you can stamp your message. I, have st I haven't put any sentiments on these whatsoever because I think it's very, very useful to be able to use them for birthdays, for thank yous, for anniversaries. And if you've put birthday on them, it's too late. You, you know, you've, you've, your options are limited then. And I've put some ribbon on so you can hang that on your gift or sellotape that onto your gift and write your message inside and this uses the beautiful stitched shapes framelets dies which I just love them. Now isn't that gorgeous? Don't you think that that just makes your project just better than the norm? I mean when you compare this to the gift tags that you you get in the shops this to me is in a totally different league of its own and I think it's just beautiful and you can see that I've used lots of the different ribbons that Stamping Up have I, I just love them and uh, you can see all the different colourways that I've used all of them colourways match match the hand stamping that I did on the tags that's uh, Sweet Sugar Plum and Mint Macaron that's Daffodil Delight and Rich Razzleberry, Rich Razzleberry and Sweet Sugar Plum. And this one here is Wisteria Wonder with So Saffron and this stripy ribbon here. And it's just, they're, they're just beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to make these today and also how to make this reinforced gift box which you could use afterwards to give, to give us someone a gift in or you could just make some more tags of your own and put them in here. So let's crack on with this and you'll notice too that my acetate doesn't go on the outside, it goes on the inside because then you don't see your little joins because it's see-through, you don't see your little joins. So let's make a start on those. So I've already cut out and prepped up for this tag here, which we're going to make now, using these stitched shapes dies. You can see you get four uh, circles, four squares and four ovals, and they will all layer together. So because you've got the different shapes, it means that you've, you're buying one set but you're getting so much more use out of it because you've got different shapes. I think they're just fantastic. So I'm just going to pull you out now because otherwise you might not see what I'm doing. So let's put that to one side. We will need that in a minute but not yet. So I've already prepped up a piece of So Saffron cardstock which measures six and a quarter by three and one eighth and it is scored at three and one eighth on the long side and then you just fold that over and burnish and then I have used cut a piece of 
These both measure the same size. Um, this is Mint Macaron and Whisper White. You will need two of these for your tag. And they that is the two and five eighths by two and five eighths, which is the biggest one. So you will cut two of those. And then to do the little tag, we are going to use this one, which measures two and one eighth by two and one eighth. We'll cut our flower out in a moment. But first of all, we are going to glue that the Whisper White one in on the inside for your sentiment. And don't put your glue round that stitched border because otherwise it'll show through and it won't look good. But you can see already that that looks just brilliant on the inside of there. Absolutely brilliant. And then this glues down as well on the front. So that's looking good already and now we are going to cut out so this is the last piece of my designer paper and we're going to cut out that flower there like that so let's get the big shot over so I don't need the precision plate so what have I done with my other plate? That must be over here. So plates down, put that on there, our paper, and I've just centered the flower with my stitched detail. Press that down and run that through the big shot. cracking noise that you hear is perfectly normal. Let's get rid of that. Right, so now we've got that cut out, so take that out of our paper and you can see I'm left with a little strip so you could if you wanted to put that on a little card. And then you just poke that out and there you have your beautiful stitched detail. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And these have been so popular, these stitched shape framelits, that they're now on back, what's called back order, which means that they've had to order a, a lot more in because they underestimated how many they would need because they've been so popular. So you can still buy them and they will be available within the next week or two if you, if you fancy getting them. So I've put four little dimensionals on, on our little cut out flower. Take the backing off that and before I do we need some, we need to cut our piece of ribbon. So we decide what ribbons we want and this is the matching trio pack which is in the autumn and winter catalogue. You get three of these in, in a trio pack and they really do have such beautiful beautiful detail. Can you see that? That, that? They really are quality, really are quality, quality ribbons. They're, they're just gorgeous. So shall we have that purple? Yes, we're going to have the purple. Oh, let's stick that down there. So let's use the rich raspberry today. And I measured the length I needed by just having my tails about there and then 
I folded that round like that to loop onto my gift and with my scissors I measured that and cut that like that. I seem to have stuck myself up and then I got a bit of fast fuse onto the middle there to hold that down. So onto there, round and stick that back down there like that and then we just put our flower on here line that up centrally of course and stick that down and I think that don't you think that looks so pretty I really do love it love it and in the center of my flower I'm going to put a little rhinestone because that's just crying out for it and that finishes our tag and I think they're pretty enough and if you wanted to put a sentiment on you can but you, you could just stamp your sentiment happy birthday you, you know there are loads of stamp sets you could just get happy birthday or whatever you want to stamp on the middle there so let's crack on now and make the box right then seem to have a lot of things in the way here so let me pull you out again so that you can see right so get that out of the way so I've got a piece of I think this is pool party I've used today to make my box And this measures nine and a quarter by eight and seven eighths. And we are just going to score it on all four sides at one and a quarter and two and three quarters. So just turn it round one and a quarter, two and three quarters and just do that all the way round. That's the scoring for our box and then I have a piece of acetate here and that measures six and five eighths by six and a quarter and we are just going to score that on all four sides at one and a half inches so one and a half inches on all four sides so that couldn't be easier, could it? Right, that's our scoring done. Put the board away. And now we're going to fold and burnish all our score lines in the usual way. So this is obviously a reinforced box so in the normal way we cut up and what I've done is I think I've cut it on the longer side so this measures from here to here what does that measure I think it's three and three quarters yes three and three quarters by three and a quarter so on the long side you're going to cut up and then we're going to cut away and notch in like that cut that end bit off there notch in here and notch in here
and then take a notch out of there, cut it up. Cut away this corner. Notch the piece out there. Notch out again. Set the same here on all four corners. So you cut up on the long side. Cut these end pieces off. Notch in. And notch on there. Cut up here. over to make sure that I've done all my notching in. I think that's good. And I'm going to keep these bigger pieces because you can stamp flowers, look flowers or whatever you want out of those pieces. Don't like to waste those. But the little pieces in the bin. Right then, now we're going to get our tape, our double-sided tape. We are going to put some along these edges at the top here. So all four of those we want tape on because that reinforces our box, makes it nice, good and strong. And then our flaps. On our flaps I'm going to use the liquid Tombow because I think that's, that gives you more manoeuvrability. So Tombow on here. So in the normal way, make up our box all the way round. get my bone folder and just run that on the inside just to make sure that that's nicely stuck well into the corners. So it took me a little while to come up with this box because when I first made it I made it long because I thought that the ribbons ought to lay flat. I'm just going to show you that now. So this was the box that I made first because I thought the ribbons should stay flat. But then I then I thought, well, they're just all loose like that. And is that, you know, sense? I wasn't sure about it. So I then decided to do this smaller one. And as you can see, that is much smaller. But I'm going to use this box and make that for something else, I think, because I like it. 
Right then, let's take the sticky strip off our box. Press that down. what it is about these red strips they seem to stick to me all right right so that's our, our lovely reinforced box and I've got my tags that go in there So you can see that my predicament, I wasn't sure whether to make the longer box or the shorter box, but that still works. Let's get on and, I can't see me acetate, what have I done with it? Oh here it is, because it's see through, I can't find it. Right, so we've done our acetate and we've done our, our lines, so we need to get that and Press down our lines and I find with acetate I don't like to use the bone folder much in case it marks it too much so it does seem to have a mind of its own this acetate you have to definitely have to show it who's boss because it doesn't want to bend but it's got to bend So now, again, on the long side, or did I do that? No, on the short side, that's what I did. I did it on the short side this time so that when it was folded up it wouldn't show from the front. Not that it matters considering that it's going on the inside. So you cut up as you would normally for a box and then I cut a wedge out of both sides. And then I cut quite a sizable portion off. Can you see I've just left myself now with half an inch and no more. So do that on all four sides. Cut a wedge out of there. And then cut leaving yourself just with half an inch. Last one. Get rid of all these pieces, we don't need those. And what I've done with this is I've 
<coughs> stuck it onto down with some glue dots. So I have put glue dots, one on the bottom part and one on the top. And we're going to do that all the way round. And then the normal way, put that together. Like that. And that is our lid. So we get our box and that should be a perfect fit inside our box and it is and that completes our lovely project so whether you make it in these colors or these colors doesn't matter I think it looks gorgeous in both and I'm really pleased with that project and I hope you will be too <clears throat> and until the next time it's bye for now but if you need to go over to my website to get the measurements, I shall put them on there for you too. Just click in the little down arrow description bar. Anyway, it's bye from me for now. Thank you. Bye.